Hi and welcome to C++ tutorial of a tabular list box display. Now I have some details here of individual so let's click on update data. There we go. So supposing we want to add more details data in there you can just go ahead and uh, add that. Click on add more and come right in here. And let's say the name is Felix Stanmo. And Felix Stanmo is a full time, okay, let's say it's a part time student and he's studying mathematics. What year is he? Maybe in third year. Let's click on update. There we go. If you scroll right down, you should be able to see details of Felix Stanmo. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C++ development environment and we put one of these together using Visual C++. So let's exit out. Confirm if you want to exit. Yes, I do. There. I will start a new project entirely. Click on create new project and we select C++. Click on Next, if you notice, I've just selected CLRMTProject.net framework. Click on next, and we give our project a name. I'm going to call it CPP List Box and click on create. Okay, let's click on the solution explorer. There we go, and here click on the properties. You can see the icon for the property there. Click on that. And that shows up. This dialog box shows up. Click on linker. But in the first place, make sure your platform is either 64 bit, but if you're using 62 uh, 32, just click on 32 bit. But in my case, I'm using 64 bit. Alright, so click on linker and in the LS select system inside the system you see where we have subsystem click on that drop it down let's select windows subsystem windows and then click on advanced that's the advanced is in linker click on advanced and in there you see where you have entering points let's change that to main you can now come right in here click on the apply button and click on OK there we go now all we're trying to do is just to create the form to finish up with the form you see the name of your project right click on it and let's select add new item click on new item and inside the new item we now want to select the CLR inside the CLR dialog you see where we have Windows form select Windows form see the default name in there is myform.h I'm going to leave that as that click on add okay so that is coming up now we will end up with an error but that's no problem let's go back to the solution explorer before I go any further you see the the name of your project right click on it I just want to add one more item so come straight to the reference and in there I want to add the speech and the add reference dialog pops up so right inside the search box in there just type in speech and there we go that's the speech okay make sure it's checked and click on OK so we already have our speech sorted now for us to be able to get this form activated, you see where we have myform.cpp, double click on that. Inside myform.cpp we meant to enter a line, some lines of code in here that will activate the form. So let's go straight to the forum. Right in here inside the forum, I will include the link to the, the to this forum. That's the link right there. I will also I will include that on my description area. So scroll right down. You can follow the instruction, though this one is an old forum, but the the lines of code still works for the form. So I'm gonna copy that. Copy. 
drop that down and let's come right in here inside our myform.cpp paste the lines of code in there there will be an error and that's to do with the name so I'm going to enter the name of my project which is cpp list box once that is added this error should disappear now and that's all there is to that I'm going to save that if I run it now my form should appear And there we go that's my form right there but the problem is this form is not in the solution explorer here so the only way out is for us to save and just exit out as you can see the form is not right there so i'm going to exit out and i'm now going to reopen the project that is it right there now the project is now coming up there we go once the project is fully loaded we should be able to see the form on the solution explorer so let's check out the solution explorer now and there we go now it's ready if I click on my form.cp.h and that's it right there so the next thing I'm going to do is go straight to the project right here I'm going to change that to 1386 by 7 by 800 and right underneath here I'm going to go straight to where we have start position and get that centered now let's come into window state I'm going to change that to maximize there now come straight to the toolbox we need the following let's come right down there we need this panel dump it right there and this very panel I'm going to change the color to cadet blue there we go just drag it across there and take it right down okay the other thing I'm going to do again is I'm going to go back to my toolbox grab hold of the panel just drag the panel right there this will be for the title but I'm going to have to change the background color of this very panel to let's go for control the default color so select that and come in here and just change that to control the control is the default color there alright that is taken care of but I'm going to need this so I might as well just copy it hold on to the control click and drag we have one here yeah that's good enough and take it down and we have another one underneath here okay just drag this that much okay now let's continue with the developments I'm gonna go back to the toolbox again uh, let's get hold of the label paste one label in there and copy this label paste it right there and we need a couple of those labels but this very one let's change some of his details I'm going to change that to about 70 and make that bold change the text content to I'm going to change that to let's say list box tabular display list box tabular display I'm just paste it right there now one thing I'll do for, with that is I'm going to come in here for the label you see where we have auto size I'm going to change that to force there so I can drag it and adjust it how I want let's take it all the way okay let's get this centered and change the back color as well so I'm going to come in here change that back color to cadet blue the, and the font I'm going to change the font to something okay let's go for maybe control and let's get it centered align get it centered there we go all right that's 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 fine 
okay now this label here I'm going to change the font size of this very label to let's come in here maybe 20 something screw right down okay maybe 20 oh let's set it for 24 there we go now change the details of that very label I'm going to change that to student ID okay that's fine now let's add the text box add one text box there and change that to as follows uh, we need to change that to 24 as well that is fine okay so we can copy this across we have two and we'll need one more here okay let's move this back so we have enough room for it okay now right below it we're gonna need some more labels or maybe we should just change the size of everything let's go back in there so so that we can have enough room I'm gonna go back and just change the size let's go to fonts I'm gonna reduce that seems I would not have enough room let's go for 20 all right that's fine so let's select just the labels now hold on to the control click and drag so we have some right here and now the next one is I'm going to add combo box there we go we have one here and let's change that to 20 as well there now copy we have two and we have three that is fine so now let's change the details we have in here this will be known as year and here we have course here that will be first name Our name here and finally that's going to be full time full time stroke part time there okay that's fine Now here we need a list box. Come back in here. Let's grab hold of a list box and just draw right there. That's my list box right there. And let's change the name of this list box to LST output. The font size, I'm going to change that to 20 as well. There we go. That's for my list box. And right underneath here, I'm going to come right here and let's add buttons. Okay, let's change the font of that. I think we can afford to change the font of that to something maybe 24 bold and this very button let's just increase the size that much and let's change the back color as well okay that blue and the data or the name let's change that to BDN update
and this will be known as update right so let's copy it we have to three and four and this one is going to be known as exit so the name of that will be btn exit that's the variable name and here I'm going to call that btn reset Change the name to reset. And right here, I'm going to call this add, maybe add new. And this is going to be known as BTN add new. There we go. This is reset though. Change this back to reset. There. Let's move this down a little bit. And let's increase the height of these buttons. And bring them down. Alright. Okay, let's give all of the other components names. So this is going to be txt student ID. This is going to be txt first name. We have txt name and this is going to be C C M B full part and this is going to be C M B course and here that's going to be C M B right okay every single component now have their respective names all right let's run it and just see how this looks like then we'll take it from there there we go that's how the design of the interface is looking right now so i'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and i'll see you guys shortly